Hello, my crafty friends. Today is the 10th, which means it's time for 10 on the 10th. This is a collaboration put on by Kim of Metal Scrap and Chick, where we make Christmas cards all year long so that we're ready for the season. There are other collaborators down in my description box. You can either use the hashtag or click on their name and their channel so you can see what they made. I am using the sketch just re that we recently used, the sheet load of card sketch from Alicia. And instead of three pieces, I used two pieces of 12 by 12, cut that all up. But then I had scraps from this set that I've been using all year, which is classic vintage. And it's Christmas and it's absolutely beautiful. And you can see all my scraps left over. And I have a few pieces of usable 12 by 12. So, let's get on with the cards. All right. I used oh, these are my, all my enamel dots. I've used enamel dots. I used red berry. Nouveau Drops, and I use these cute vintage stickers for the insides of the card. Okay, so here's the first one. Pretty pink trees, peppermint candy, wreaths, and then this is stamped in real red. This is a bow, one of the bows I, I've had for a couple of years. And then this is a little green rhinestone. I thought it matched very well. The um, the paper is shaded spruce. So I thought it went really well with the colors. And inside, it's the most wonderful time of the year with a sticker. I stamped the same thing in all the cards. Move. Merry Christmas to you. I had a couple of pieces of this beautiful turquoise glimmer. So one piece here and then another bigger piece that I'll show you. And this is the um, beautiful music paper. And then I use black to mat with here. The pink paper and the green. It's the most wonderful time of the year with their little snow people. And again, I used black to mat this. Merry Christmas to you. And this is an oldie bit of goodie from Stampin' Up. And I thought it went pretty well. It's not quite red and it's not quite pink. And then here's the bells. And this is one where I had to use an insert because when I stamped initially, it didn't come out right. So there's my, you can do either way. You can stamp first and then if you make a mistake, you can fold it over like I've been doing. Or you can just put an insert in. And then my little Santa, he, he says Merry Christmas, but I still think it's a cute sticker. And here's where the peppermint stripe shows up and the bells. I had a couple of bigger pieces of the bells, so I just used those. And this is a bl bluish, kind of a bluish clear rhinestone. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And the snowman. And this is shaded spruce. This is the dotted with the bells. And this is an enamel dot. And there's our little Santa. And we have the notes again with the black matting, pink, peppermint, and the green. Noel. Here's brick, little houses. You'll see that later also. 
And then my big piece here, I'm, I'm matted in shaded spruce. And then again, our little Santa. The music, peppermint, the trees, and our little snow people again. And here is a big piece of our peppermint stripe and then a bigger piece of the beautiful snowflake paper. I did this in silver because of all the silver in the pattern pieces. And then I used red and another pink from Stampin' Up. Our little Santa. And this is the only one of this that I used I just had scraps left of most of it, so I just utilized that. And then here's the music, the bricks, the wreaths, and this is the, the red berry Nouveau drops. Oh, and I didn't put, didn't put a sticker in this one. I'm gonna have to dig one out. Let's do that real quick. There we go. Okay. Now, this is my outlier. I had one piece of this, and because it's dimensional, I ran ahead and ran with it and made a portrait-style card. My houses. Peppermint. Brick. And then the, the enamel dot and the ribbon. I just made it go this way. <laughs> And then our little snow people and my sentiment. As I said, there are other collaborators that you can go to and see theirs. But I also have a playlist if you want to get more ideas for making Christmas cards. It'll be here before you know it. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.